Thank you. The next person I want to introduce is one of the best superintendent of schools we have ever had in the state of California. You know, I know he's good looking and I know he's very nice and he's very charming, but don't let that fool you. He is a great advocate for our kids. He really cares. You ask him to go down in some of these areas that really need his, his vision and his, for him to appear to talk to the kids. He went to Delano where the farm worker kids just had a brand new school and they just loved uh, performing for our superintendent of schools. Let me bring him out here right now. My dear friend, Tom Torlickson. Good afternoon, Democrats. Are you ready? Ready to fight and to win? To continue the fight for our democratic values. Are you ready? I know you are. And thank you, Alex, for the kind introduction. She also knows me as Tenacious Tom. And she was on, she's all about communication. She was on a task force on education technology. And she was the one who came up with our theme for our slogan to connect every student to the internet to the great opportunities of learning there. And the theme she came up with was no child left offline. So thank you, Alex. <laughs> and I, I must say, I'm so, um, so honored to have John Burton as a friend, to have him as a mentor, for all of us to have him as a true champion, a true warrior for our democratic values. So just a shout out to my good friend, John Burton, our dynamic leader. So I'm here to share, to share with you, to thank you, to thank you Democrats for putting education at the very top of our state's priorities. I am here to share some good news and some key challenges, to outline some key challenges in front of us. And as I travel up and down this great state of California, I visit st schools where students are deeply engaged, excited about their learning. They don't want to leave the classroom. They stay at their computers or working in their groups because they're excited about learning. I observe wonderful teachers teaching with skill and with passion. I recently took a 2,000 mile trip in five days to five, actually nine northern state counties and the schools along the way. And I came away after listening, working with teachers and classified and the administrators in those schools, I came away totally inspired. I saw students at Del Norte High School and Eureka High School, for instance, using CAD computer drafting to design houses and then go out and build them and then go out and sell them and generating the funds from doing that for the next year's engineering and construction academy to do it all over again. Isn't that cool? They, they did it with their hands. It was a real product they were proud of. And guess what the graduation rates are in programs like this? Did you know that our overall graduation rate, due to the valiant work of educators, our classified, our teachers, our administrators and school board members, our overall graduation rate went up five percentage points in the last five years. We're at 81%, all time high. And we know it's not enough, we know we need to go higher. But in career technical education courses, what is the graduation rate? It's about 90 to 95%. Isn't that amazing? Students are excited about their learning. The governor and the legislature have put forward a billion and a half dollars that I put out in my department for creative partnerships because these students and these programs are connected to the real world, to the jobs of now and the jobs of the future. They're connected to their own strengths and inner inner desires and inner dreams of where they want to go in life. And it's hands-on learning. It's learning with a purpose. And a billion and a half has been invested in the last two years in these great programs. Also good news, we're seeing a renaissance in art, music, drama, and dance. Do we want to see more art, music, and drama, and dance in our schools? And a renaissance in civics and in science in our schools. Yes, yes, we need more. Civics is a good thing how our government works, how we work, how democratic values can be defended. And just another piece of good news, the Prop 98 budget for our K-12 schools has gone up two billion over last year. And 490 million has been set aside to expand teaching capacity, professional development, to implement our new state standards and programs to help our English learners to succeed, all our English learners to succeed, and all of our students from poverty to succeed. 
we have, we have a tremendous amount of work, a lot of work to do to close the pernicious and persistent achievement gap, which I would like to turn around and say it's an opportunity gap, and let's provide the opportunity. Shouldn't we be providing those opportunities? <laughs> Remember what it was like just seven years ago. What a difference compared to the depths of the terrible recession and the chaos of the cuts, the great uncertainties with programs being dismantled and over 50,000 teachers and classified educators laid off making class sizes so much the bigger and opportunities shrunk. But now what we're seeing is a challenge at the same time. I want to outline a way that we can help, two ways in particular that we can help with the challenge. Because of the resurgent economy and Prop 30, school funding is back to the 2007 level of where it was before the recession. But is that enough funding? Is that the level of funding that California students deserve? No, I agree with you so strongly about that. Did you know that we're still 42nd in the nation in per pupil spending? And you compare that, just compare that with Massachusetts, New Jersey, New York. New, new York and New Jersey, we're spending about 10,000 per pupil, they're spending 20,000 per pupil. Even Wyoming and Massachusetts, they're spending $16,000 per pupil. So we must, I think we can all agree, we must invest more in our schools, much more. And what about spending some money on early learning and childcare, quality childcare? Do we need more of that? What do you think about preschool for all four-year-olds? What do you think about preschool for all three-year-olds? What do you think about full-day kindergarten? That's why I am so strongly behind the renewal of Prop 30, to find the replacement for Prop 30. Can we let that $8 billion just go by the wayside and drift away? Do we need that $8 billion to invest in our kids? So we need that, and we, I'm, I'm going to be fighting. Have you signed the petition yet? There are petitions out there for the initiative. Please join together in reinvesting in our kids through the new Prop 30. And there's another initiative I just want to plug and say it's, an, it's a great opportunity. Our kids deserve modern facilities for their learning, well-lit, the, the HVAC systems working, not leaky roofs. They need the bandwidth. They need the computers, the science labs, the career tech centers. We have a chance to vote yes on a facilities bond for our schools. Do our kids deserve better facilities? Yes. $9 billion, it's on, the, it's on the November ballot. So I say yes to invest, and I know that you strongly will help support and back these. Finally, California is truly, truly an amazing place, a land of creativity and innovation. We cut greenhouse gases faster than any other state. Our technology industry leads the world developing amazing new devices for communication, and we save lives by advancing medical care and by new discoveries. So to maintain and expand these opportunities, we must invest in education and in those who deliver education. And as I wrap up, this is what I'd like to do. I'd like to have anybody who's an educator in here, a teacher, a classified employee, a school board member, if you're in the education team, the dream team, helping our kids meet their dreams, stand up. We want to recognize you, and then the, the people around you. Stand up, educators. Thank you. Stand up. And those of you nearby, shake the hands of the educator near you, or hug them, because they're doing an incredible job. They are valiant, working every single day to help our kids realize their dreams. Thank you, Democrats. Stay strong together.